Reading 012. Unit 5. Lesson 1. Baby Sign Language. By the end of Unit 5, Lesson 1, you will be able to identify the main idea in the reading text and use reading strategies such as skimming. Vocabulary. Hesitation. This is the act of pausing before doing something, especially because you are nervous or not certain. Communicate. This is to share information with others by speaking, writing, moving your body, or using other signals. Utter. This is to say something or to make a sound with your voice. Roar. This is to make a long, loud, deep sound. And incredible. This is impossible or very difficult to believe. Read the text, then answer the following questions. Why does Emma brush her fingers against her cheeks? What is the difference between baby signs and American Sign Language? What words can Emma sign? How does Emma show that she wants to look at a book? And can Emma communicate more by speaking or by using signs? And what age was Emma when she could tell her mother exactly what she wanted? Baby Emma isn't talking yet, but she's saying plenty. By Robin Rhodes Crowell. Emma and I are sitting on the bed as our cat jumps up. Emma looks at the cat and then without hesitation takes both pointer fingers and brushes them against her cheeks. It's her symbol for cat. Emma is learning baby signs. Baby signs are the same idea as American Sign Language, ASL. But the parents and the baby determine the signs. The actual sign doesn't matter as long as everyone in the household understands it. At 12 months old, Emma is too young to communicate with words. She is just starting to utter sounds that could be words such as hat, hot, and high. But she has a whole repertoire of images and ideas that she communicates to us. We started teaching Emma signs when she was seven months old. The motions are the same ones most infants use instinctively. We started with more, point her finger to the palm, by, which is waving, and eat, which is fingers to the mouth. We were pleased and rewarded when at nine months, Emma started telling us she wanted more to eat. She moved on to more baby signs, such as nap, drink, book, bird, and others. Some we taught her, and some she made up on her own. Our experience with baby signs has helped us understand Emma's needs. One afternoon, after she and I had finished shopping at the bookstore, I put Emma into her car seat. As I handed toys, each one was met with an upset look and an angry roar. Emma then looked up at me with her big blue eyes and put her palms together, and then opened them. I knew that she wanted a book to read. I gave it to her and she was happy. How incredible that at 12 months she was able to tell me exactly what she wanted. For Emma, life without words is not a life without language. Read the text and answer the following questions. Why does Emma brush her fingers against her cheeks? What is the difference between baby signs and American Sign Language? What words can Emma sign? How does Emma show that she wants to look at a book? And can Emma communicate more by speaking or by using signs? Also, what age was Emma when she could tell her mother exactly what she wanted?